We can go to places normally. We can go to Tesco's and various other places or wherever you want to go. Clothed and no one's going to look you up and down. They might, you know, I don't know, they might judge you for what you're wearing. I think girls are particularly bad at this. I, I've seen the glance that girls give each other. I've noticed this. It's the, it's the three-second glance. It's, you know, shoes, dress, blouse. Oh, come on, ladies. <laughs> Men, we don't do that. We're like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, curry. Mm. And off we go. Girls, they don't. Shoes, dress, blouse. Well, shoes, slacks, blouse. That's what they do. It's that, ten, it's that few seconds because what they're doing is they're sizing themselves up to see if enough thought was put into it. Now, I don't want you ladies to compete with each other because that's really just silly. I've been to churches over the years where it was the tradition and, 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 and on you know, an understanding of Scripture the where ladies wore hats. And I've been in churches where ladies would compete with the hats because they had to be bigger and better than the next one. Some ladies were wearing like a fruit salad. Others would be like, a, like they'd just got into flora to deliver to their head. It was just uh, amazing. So I don't want you to get into a competitive spirit about this because that would be wrong. But the point is we all give some thought about what we're going to wear. Yet Jesus says when we're... When the Spirit comes on us, he clothes us. That means that right now, although you probably can't see him unless you're having a heavenly revelation of some kind, um, I am clothed with the Holy Spirit. You are too. Oh, we don't really want to be. I don't like the sound of that. But that means that you can go out into the world and you can operate at a level that those who haven't got the Holy Spirit can't operate at. We can go out into the world and we operate at a level that those who don't have the Holy Spirit, they can't operate at that Spirit. And what it talks about is this clothing then and this endowment of power is that our values would be changed. He wants to reshape our perspective on the world. He wants to refocus our passion for the lost. And he wants to point out the human needs around us. You can only do that if you're properly dressed. You say, oh, you're going to leap into the whole armor of God, aren't you, Keith? Well, I could, but that would just be too easy, so I'm not going to. What I'm saying is there's something fundamentally far more relational about being clothed with the Spirit than just merely saying we're going to wear the armor of God. 